Hi, I'm Jason with Cirque Rentals, and today I'm going to show you how to do a quick pitch on your Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2. And the quick pitch feature allows you to do two things. One, uh, to go lighter weight and leave the tent body at home, uh, just packing the footprint, the poles, and the rain fly. Uh, and you might do this if you aren't expecting a whole lot of inclement weather, you just want a lighter setup, uh, you don't expect the insects or, or bug activity to be uh, really bad where you're going. Um, it can be a really good setup for you. Or if you just want to be a little bit more connected to the outdoors and to open air. Um, the other option is if uh, maybe it's raining hard when you're setting up t camp, uh, you can quick pitch your rain fly and your footprint and your pole. Uh, and that gives you a dry space to kind of stow your gear, get settled. And then you can put your tent fly up from the inside uh, and keep the tent body uh, as dry as possible when you're setting up your, your site. Um, so those are kind of the two options or two reasons why you might do a quick pitch um, setup. Either you plan ahead and you just want to take lighter gear uh, or you might be doing it under uh, extreme weather conditions. But we'll go ahead and show you how to do that and set that up uh, right now. So for the quick pitch, you're going to need your stakes. You're going to need your footprint. You do need the footprint if you're going to quick pitch. Don't leave that at home. Uh, you'll need your poles, of course. And we're going to leave the tent body at home for this particular outing. But we are going to need our rain fly. And so you can see that potentially is, is a lighter setup uh, for you. At least saves a little bit of weight not bringing the tent body with you. Um, but the first thing you're going to do is set up your footprint. Then I'm going to go ahead and set my poles up. Now just like when setting up your tent, it's still all color coordinated, so match your silver poles to your silver ribbons on the footprint. Now you don't have the tip lock on the footprint like you do on the tent body. And so you can see there how that just popped right out. It's pretty common with a normal grommet setup. Uh, but here you can move it around a little bit if you're not quite sure where you want it positioned. We're gonna set it up right here. Next, we're gonna set up our rain fly. Again, looking for those color coordinated ribbons. There we go, silver on silver. And the footprint does have the clips for the rain fly. So you can just clip those in just like you would with the tent body. All right, now we can still reposition a little bit if we need to, but if we like where we've got it set up right here, which we do in this case, we're gonna go ahead and stake it.
And now you can see here if I open up the door. It's set up partially. We still have one more pole to put in, but it's basically set up. We can go ahead and throw our backpack in here, throw our tent body in here if it's raining really hard and keep all of our other gear as dry as possible. So now we're going to take our spreader bar, we're going to install that from the inside here. And if you remember, we're going to go over the poles in here, so I just gonna put it parallel with the poles that are in here and then twist it. And then we have these little pockets in the rain fly that this will fit into. And so then that gives you that extra stability, kind of extra vertical space on the side walls of your tent here. And then just to kind of show you the full quick pitch there, go ahead and stick out this back door as well, just so you can see the full amount of space. But that just gives you a really nice, roomy, protected area to go ahead and store your gear. And then you can, of course, go in here after the fact and connect the tent body from the inside, keeping all of your gear as dry as possible. Now if I am quick pitching due to inclement weather and it's raining really hard, uh, I can still go inside the tent and set up inside the rain fly and set up the tent body from the inside. I have to keep my tent dry while I'm setting it up and keep all my gear dry, as dry as possible while I'm setting up. So in this case, probably unpacking inside the tent here, getting my, my tent out, getting my gear out. Again, I'm gonna match up my ribbons. So I match my orange to orange, silver to silver. Start on one end, work my way over. So in this case, I'm just going to clip the tent body underneath the ribbon of the footprint. You could try and unhook that footprint, but I find it's easier to just kind of click it. Up. In this case. <laughs> Make sure you don't put the tent upside down first. This doesn't work too well outside. That's good. And depending on how much I cared about getting wet, you know, I could be doing this inside the tent, I could get outside the tent. Got access to that other vestibule as well, but you can go ahead and kind of clip from here. That's why I choose to start on one side and work my way over. And 
here I can still access. I've got my pocket here so I can go ahead and clip my stabilizer bar onto the tent, just like I normally would. And then go ahead and tuck it into that pocket on the rain fly. Go ahead and clip the top there. Keep moving with my clips. And then at this point, I still have a couple more clips to go, but I can go ahead and clip my ribbons. through or going to the other side. I'm going to do the back side first here with the clips. Put my top section in. And then do my last bit of clips on the tops here. Now if it's really windy, I still have my Velcro ties on the inside. Now I basically set up my rain fly and my footprint first. Have everything dry and then set up the tent body. So my tent body at least is dry when I get my gear in there. I'm not gonna have to soak gear. And if you could do this, I did, did it with the vestibule open for uh, the camera purposes, but if you were to stake out your vestibule, you'd have a full coverage area in there where you could mess around and set that tent up from the inside. So it's a really great feature to have, the quick pitch feature. That's the Big Agnes, Copper Spur HVUL2, quick pitch.